Hey everybody, happy Friday from Wessel here in Los Angeles. Uh, it's a beautiful, sunny, blue skies, warm, concrete kind of Friday. Um, it took me a couple of minutes to figure out what I want to talk about today in my vlog, but the idea came to mind that I thought I would give you a quick tour of my room. Now before you go like, why would I want to see this guy's room? Why would I want to see this, this Wessel guy's room? Well, um, it may be a little bit more interesting than you, than, you, than you can imagine. Well, at least I think so, and my friends think so. So, I hope you think so too. So, all right, let's go inside then. All right. So, locking, ah, oh, the front door closed because of the wind. But, all right, you may remember this from my introductory video. The door to my room, I had to put up some stuff in there so that uh, people couldn't see through the windows right away. So, even walking in, this is honestly how my room is most of the time. I, I cleared it up just a little bit today because I haven't been painting, I haven't had stuff. So, you can see there's not. Well, the floor itself is, is pretty, pretty intense if you get down on it. At one point, this used to be a blue carpet, but um, yeah, one day some paint got off of uh, the painting I was working on, and then I pretty much just screwed and just kind of protected the, the floor around it and went on with my business. So this is kind of my room, like, this lens is a little bit too zoomy for me. Here's that black painting that I was talking about the other day, and the other one I have no idea how to describe just yet. Take a quick look-see around. Here's a shameless plug for the Patreon. Come and invest in my art. You gotta make those. This is a business after all, not just about the fun of it. So, there's a lot of different stuff, like you can see me panning by my boring bed, of course. My drawing and sketch pad that I'm gonna be working on just after I finish this. So, there is a lot of stuff in here. This is one of my, or part of my supply shelf, I should say. There's like different bits of art, like painting supplies and all the jazz, just sitting in boxes all every, everywhere. Like I kind of know where everything is, but I probably should centralize if I had the time. You know, the brushes that have treated like crap and, but uh, yeah, just going down through the different shelves, I have all these different kinds of supplies. It all started with pens and pencils and it just, you can see some stuff in their magazines that I'm using for paper mache work right now. In the front you see just random paintings sitting around. Yes, I'm sure people are like, oh my god, you are storing those so incorrectly! To which my response is, gee, I wish I had uh, more space and better education or better knowledge on how to store them, but, you know, one bit at a time. So, there's a lot of different works in here. These, There's two paintings. Sorry for the up close and personal. These two blue, this blue and yellow ones, I did those in Paris uh, when I was on a family vacation about a month and a half ago now. Whoop. And it's just like, there's so much, so many different paintings just kind of like stored up in here. Once again, I'm sure people are like, what are you doing with those paintings? You need to store them properly. And again, yeah, I'll get to that when I can get to that. There's a bunch of, these are the 24 by 36s. I love when I first started going into these. Kind of see... Uh, it's the one that I showed, I think, on my Instagram the other day. Like black and white. So I don't want to get too much into showing these because I'll go and talk about them in later episodes. Totally fun times. I love big sizes. I can't wait to get bigger. 24 by 30s are my current favorite size. And yes, there's just like paintings everywhere because I'm in the process of like listing them up on Etsy and trying to sell them, post about them. You know, generally trying to make what I do into a business so I can pay for my living. Yes, everything in here, if you'll notice, has probably paint spatters on it yeah from the fan which is crazy to oh yeah the pants everybody loves my pants these are jeans that I use while I'm painting and unfortunately the camera isn't able to capture it so nicely just because it's so dark not dark in here but dark enough everybody's like oh you should sell those and I'm like yeah I am trying to sell them but you got to find somebody who's willing to buy them so yes I paint pants they're really cool go 1980s or 70s or whatever but yeah I keep a lot of the art that I like to look at on my walls like I usually try and display the pieces that are important to me like there's a burned out painting right there there's one that's been cut through all totally cliche artist stuff I'll go into it at some point but it's like different ideas that have come through my head that have been different turning points in like my art stuff like this one here I'll talk about and this one is a whole different section this this it's like everything is just like different turns that I've had in my art stuff up here you can see the one two three four five six seven paintings that um 
I think for my first breakthrough when it came to doing art, I know they look like don't make any sense, but they all have meaning. Some other random stuff that's sitting up here, like it would take time to go through and explain all these, and I'll do then different blog posts. Here's one. Oh man, I hate the way the light's working. It's just so not pretty in here. This is one of my favorite paintings. I will never sell this. It's acrylic on uh, paper, just a bunch of different colors. I've got some great images of it on my Instagram. The colors are so vibrant. Yeah, I've got like different things that have like twisted together. I've got some of my influences. God, it's so funny. So corny, it's like a cheese ball, like uh, a college student room. But yeah, I even got the like, spray paint that I was using just recently. You know, there's, like I said, just all the paint over here. I've got some fashion magazines that they continue to send even though I don't pay for them. And so I use them for collage work. Because I've got some ideas I want to do more like this. And so yeah, like if I back out of my room just a little bit, you can kind of see. Yeah, this is my humble abode. And some people, I guess, might be kind of ashamed of like how small or whatever it is. And I'm just like, you know what? It is what it is right now because I need to be here. I need to be doing this stuff and I need to be in this environment. And well, you know, it is what it is. And why would I be ashamed of, of this? This is like, to me, it's awesome. I'm living in my own creation. <laughs> it's like every artist's dream, if you ask me. Now all I gotta do is be better at the business end of it, which is what I'm working on. All right, so I think I've gone over like the same things over and over like a dozen times, but I hope my narration has at least been interesting. Yes, my monitor for my Mac is broken, so I have another one. <laughs> but yeah, the view of my window. Yes, this is something I see literally every day. This cornball is all get up, but my friends who come remember it, which really kind of makes me laugh. But all right, so let's walk outside again through the hallway and unfinished art pieces and the doors closed. All right. Oh man, so that was a tour of my room. I know it was probably pretty shallow, like, what's this, what's this, what's this, or why do you have this, or what's that? And uh, even looking through my room, I'm like, there are so many stories to be told about stuff. But, like I said, I just wanted to make it a quick tour. It was like five or six minutes. You get to see all like the different things that are going through my head, basically up on my walls and all that other jazz. So, um, so I'm like shaking the camera. Oh my gosh, it's an earthquake. Actually, that's, that's not an earthquake here in LA. Just kidding. So, um, I hope everybody has a very fantastic uh, Friday and weekend or whenever you happen to see this. Um, I hope that day is wonderful for you. Um, yeah, so I got a lot of stuff to do today before I meet up with my friends. So yeah, got to get to it nonstop for us. So once again, have a great day. This is Wessel from Los Angeles signing off.